News has broken from the world of The Walking Dead that the planned Daryl and Carol spin-off show, set to premiere in 2023, has lost one of its main stars. That of course being Melissa McBride, who plays Carol herself. Being reported by TVLine.com, they say Melissa McBride has exited the project on her own will, and the show will now be a Daryl-centric one. Still happening, but down one of its main attractions. A network spokesperson said to TV Line the following regarding Melissa's departure. Unfortunately, she is no longer able to participate in the previously announced spin-off focused on the Daryl Dixon and Carol Peltier characters, which will be set and filmed in Europe this summer and premiere next year. Relocating to Europe became logistically untenable for Melissa at this time. We know fans will be disappointed by this news, but the Walking Dead universe continues to grow and expand in interesting ways, and we very much hope to see Carol again in the near future. With a character as big as Carol leaving the show that was supposed to be focused around her and Daryl, what is next for a Daryl-centric show in Carol's future going into the final episodes? And how does this news all tie back to Rick Grimes? Well, we'll be talking about just that today. For a quick message before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel for much more of The Walking Dead content, along with video essays. I have two video essays now up on the channel, and I'm going to have some Better Call Saul videos coming out very, very soon, so make sure you stay tuned and check them out. Now, let's dive right into what we know. Back when it was announced that The Walking Dead would be ending, it was immediately followed up by the news that Daryl and Carol would be getting their very own show. However, the production details were kept a secret. And just recently, a Negan and Maggie spinoff was announced, with the show already having an official release window, production dates, a studio in New Jersey, a proper title, and even a poster. All of this for this new show was public, despite the Daryl and Carol show having zero information and being announced a full year earlier. This had people suspecting that something was going on behind the scenes, and it didn't help that rumors began flooding Twitter that Melissa McBride wanted out of the production to retire. This brings us to now, where it's official. Melissa McBride has left the production, and the show is now solely a Daryl-centric one. This is a big production change, especially since the show was set to begin its official filming of the first season this summer. The reason is reported to be that Melissa either couldn't or didn't want to move to Europe for the time of filming. This is really our first insight into what the show would be about, since we now have a confirmation it will take place in Europe. Out of all the places Daryl could go, though, why exactly would he go across the pond to Europe? Nothing is for certain, but I have a pretty good guess. Back in season 10, Daryl mentioned getting on his bike and driving off to New Mexico with Carol on two separate occasions. The assumption from this was that after everything with the Commonwealth concluded and Alexandria had all of its problems solved, Daryl and Carol would leave for a new adventure and potentially a new life in another state being New Mexico. And no, I don't think New Mexico was affected by the nukes that were launched in Fear the Walking Dead. I think it's safe to assume it affected a large portion of Texas, but not New Mexico. But this assumption has now been proven wrong as production is being held in Europe. This does mean that there won't be a Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad crossover in the Walking Dead universe. Europe is a continent that is going to be crucial to the future of the Walking Dead universe due to World Beyond's post credit scene which showed off our first look at running and stronger walkers. The post credit scene takes place in France and shows the new walker variants that are undoubtedly the main threat after the show ends. And that's exactly where Daryl is going. I think these walkers are going to be an extremely big deal come time for the Rick Grimes movie, along with the main show since rumors are circulating that they will appear in the final part of season 11. With Daryl going to Europe, the origin of the new walker variant, I do think it has some sort of connection and tie back to Rick Grimes, hence why he would even travel that far in the first place. Now Rick is speculated to be in Philadelphia due to the teaser we've gotten from a few years ago, but it is possible that he's in Europe now and the CRM are establishing themselves there. It is possible that Rick got to Europe by helicopter, but considering his boots and the foam with his name on it in Michonne's final episode was on a naval vessel, it's more than likely he got there by boat, hence why that boat in Michonne's final episode played such a big role in her finding out that he's still alive. And unless Daryl also gets captured by the CRM, he has no other choice but to also go there by boat. This could make for a really interesting dynamic 
dynamic since we've never gotten to see Europe in this universe before. In my last The Walking Dead video, I talked about Europe a fair amount since it's where Rick's brother was during the fall, so I highly suggest you check it out if you haven't already. Another piece of evidence we have that this show could relate back to Rick directly involves Isle of the Dead, the new Maggie and Negan spinoff show also coming next year. This show is set to take place in New York, more specifically Manhattan. The CRM have already established themselves in New York as well, as we know from World Beyond. They aren't near Manhattan though, they're much more upstate. They're not in New York City where Maggie and Negan are set to be. But since they are in the same state after all, it has me believing that either by discovering the CRM or that Rick is still alive, Maggie and Negan group together to go investigate in New York, and Daryl and what would have been Carol follow a lead to Europe, potentially going to France as featured in the post credit scene. I know that this sounds a little bit ambitious to happen, but I have a strong belief that something at least along these lines will in fact transpire. It makes the most sense as to why after all of this time, especially with the time jump in the final episode, that Daryl decides to go as far as Europe. He has to have a very good reason to leave everyone else behind. The same goes for Negan and Maggie, considering they go as far as teaming up to go off on their own to another state, and Maggie to leave her son behind. A good enough reason would undoubtedly be Rick Grimes and Michonne. Daryl considers Rick to be his brother and spent literal years searching for anything that proved he was out there. If he were to find out he was still alive, you can bet he would be the first one to go and find him, no matter where it would take him. The new walker types would be what Daryl has to face on his journey, traveling to the continent where they first originated from. Now if you're in need of a refresher on these new walkers and their feats, I'll go over it now. These new walker variant types are ones that the United States haven't had to deal with as confirmed by CDC doctor, Dr. Jenner, the same one from season 1 of the main show in the post credit scene for World Beyond. However, these walkers are something Europe has been dealing with since very early on, or maybe even the start. They're known to be extremely quick and have the ability to run. They also have some sort of augmented strength, being able to put dents in reinforced blast doors. From leaks for the third and final part of season 11, most go on to say that the new walkers will make their way into the show and will be able to pick up and use tools such as knives, open doors, and even climb up stairs and ladders. This is a massive change from the walkers we know now, and it will come as an even bigger shock for the characters of the show. But this isn't actually the first time we've seen walkers run, climb, turn doorknobs, and even pick up and use tools. This has been done in the show before, but it was abandoned pretty quickly. If you're able to remember the first two episodes of season one, the walkers actually did all of this. This. Walkers chased Rick through the streets of Atlanta by running. Morgan's wife, who died and turned, looked directly into the peephole of a door and even turned the doorknob. Walkers ran after Rick and Glenn, and they even started climbing over a fence. And there was even a time a walker picked up a rock to smash the glass of a door. Again, this was something that was left behind in later episodes, but the characters did react to their actions. The question is, whatever happened to that? Most likely due to creative decisions, they changed the abilities of the walkers to match their comic counterparts, along with the general idea of zombies as a whole. But in the show's universe, it's safe to say that this isn't canon and just never happened. That's not to say the episodes didn't happen or aren't canon because they are, it's just the actions of the walkers. In reality, they would have been just following them normal and not running and climbing fences. The new walkers won't be our first time experiencing their new capabilities, but in the story of the show, it will be for the characters. It's going to make for some really intense and suspenseful scenes, which is something the final set of episodes are going to need. And their presence is going to be one of the many setups the show does for the Rick movies. These new walkers are just going to appear in the main show and become a giant threat. But since the Rick movies deal heavily with the CRM, we're going to learn what sort of responsibility they hold with them now arriving in America, whether they carried it over from Europe or if they're an experiment gone wrong. Keep in mind that the CRM are striving for a cure. They've dedicated years of work and research to it and are coming close to some sort of solution. So the chances of something going wrong is likely and that's what mutates the walkers. If they know how to pick up tools and use knives as leaked information says, then they have enough intelligence to be aware of how tools can help them. 
meaning that these walkers are sentient to a certain extent. When it comes to Rick Grimes, the CRM are of course going to be the villains of not only the movies, but the Walking Dead universe across all of the shows. It's going to be up to Rick to try and put a stop to what they're doing, and hopefully bring a proper cure back home with him. We don't know what his situation is like with the CRM. We don't know if he's been tortured, being experimented on, if he still has his memory, works for them or is a soldier, or maybe he even lives luxuriously in one of their cities. Rick, of course, would be fighting to get back home and make sure everyone back there is safe, but he's been with the CRM for nearly a full decade now. To put that into perspective, he's lived at the CRM longer than he has at Alexandria, longer than he's even known Daryl, who is considered to be his brother. Season 1 to Rick's final episode in Season 9 was only three years, so when you compare that to the time he's been with the CRM, Something is wrong. Rick can't make it back home for some reason, because we all know he would've by now. Whether he's been brainwashed, lost his memory, or is just trapped and not allowed to leave, the CRM is definitely keeping him there. That's not gonna be something he nor anyone else from the communities are gonna tolerate, so the big bad going forward is undoubtedly the CRM. I do think that this is all leading to a climatic battle between the CRM and the communities, even some characters from Fear, and this would most likely take take place during the final Rick movie. Having the new Walker variants is just the first step in that direction, and the spin-off shows are further going to expand and continue the mythos of the universe going forward. Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions on the Daryl and Carol show, the new Walkers, and the Rick Grimes movies in the comments below. I'm personally not particularly excited for the Daryl show, but it will be interesting to see what it does. And if you like this type of content, I suggest you subscribe to the channel. Going into these final episodes in the fall, there's going to be a lot to talk about, and I'll be just the place to come for it all. Also, make sure you check out my last video going over the story of Rick Grimes' younger brother and how we may see him in the show's universe very soon. I also have two Better Call Saul videos planned to be releasing very soon, so if that's a show that interests you or a topic, make sure you stick around. And if you're a fan of video essays, check out some of them on the channel. That will conclude everything for today though. Thanks everyone for watching, stay safe, and have a great day.